In this video, we will learn about the advanced usage of variables in DAX. So here we have one product category and we need to know the total sale for each category. So for this, I have written one measure that is total sale. And this is the formula that uh, sum x sales amount and sales flight. So we need to write one more measure, a red sale. We'll just calculate total sale and then the filter will be color is equal to red. So we will put this red sale here and here you can see we are getting a red sale and uh, let me put total sale as well. So here I'm getting a red sale and total sale because clothing don't have any products which have color red. So that's why it's empty. And let me write one more measure, red sale with variable. First we need to define variable, variable V and is equal to total sale, this measure. And then we will use return. V. So we are just returning this variable that contain total sale. And now we need to drag and drop in the report. So here you can see we are getting the same value as we are getting from the total sale. What does this mean? Variables always execute within the current filter context. So what is the current filter context? This is the current filter context accessories, bikes and clothing. So that's why we are getting the same values as we are getting on the from the total sale. So let's modify this measure. And uh, now we have to use calculate and uh, the variable V that contain total sale. And then we will use the filter like product color is equal to red. And here you can see we have we we have used calculate and we want to get the total sale for those products which have color red but still we are getting the same values as we are getting from the total sale there are two things about variables the first one is they always execute within the current filter context and it is not possible to change their values. So this variable has been executed within the current context before being used in calculate. So when we use variable here and we are saying the filter is equal to red, it is not possible to change the value and that's why we are getting the same values as we are getting from the total sale. So let's modify this formula again. And uh, this time we will copy and then we will use this variable inside calculate paste and then I will use return and uh, now let's hit enter and here you can see we are getting the same values as we are getting in the red sale measure because now it is executing within the same context. So this is how we can work with variables.